One way to look at transition is that your child is always in transition. I mean, we all are, really. So there are things to think about in elementary school. For instance, we had our child, uh, our son Will, starting to do tasks around the house that were his regular uh, re responsibilities while he was still in elementary school. Families should really start, say, by late elementary school, certainly through middle school, and then more intensely in high school, looking at what is my child's passion? What does my child love to do? What is he good at? What are his interests? Because then you base your goals on those things. Every year that you create that program, it's guiding you to the next step in how you're going to get to employment or post-secondary education. High school, it really hit. It was like, oh my goodness, we are going to be out of here in a few years. And so at that point, you know, I started really working with the transition counselors um, in the school system. It started becoming extremely important, you know, his junior and senior years, but I don't think you can prepare early enough. There were several um, assessments that were done um, to actually inquire or find out some of his interests post, you know, high school. And um, some of those kinds of things he still talks about. So I think that he really, really wanted to do some of those things. But the teachers and the educators were able to produce a tool, a visual tool, to find that information out. Having those experiences at home, in the neighborhood, at school, wherever you can find a place for your child to do things, that's when you start discovering, this is what I'm good at, this is what I like doing, this is what makes me really angry and unhappy, and I don't ever want to do that. And we went through that with our son. You know, there were times when he said, in every way he had to tell us no, he said, no, this isn't it. So we came up with several goals, but the number one goal was really to plan what's his day going to look like, what's he going to do after he graduates from public school. So you actually can start with a, a day, a schedule. So 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, what's Will going to do? And so we tried to start really fill that, filling that in. I can say that if a parent feels as though their child at some point can be able to live semi-independent um, and there's going to be a need for financial assistance, um, the waiver programs are a great way to seek that resource. However, you have to start very early on in a kid's life, um, very early on. On your question about letting go, that's not easy as a parent. Um, but sometimes we have to take risks for our children. Um, we don't want our kids to fail, but our kids learn by failure too, um, even in the smallest things. Um, and we don't know until you try. Give them a chance to chart their own future as much as possible and, as I said, experiment to try to figure out what that looks like. You start down that road with an, an individualized education program in kindergarten or earlier. Every year that IEP process should be thinking about how are we preparing our kids for more education and training or employment. Get, in, get connected with people who are willing to give their time their resources, um, may it be a few hours a day, you may have someone who will come on as a job coach and get in the, into the community where you um, are able to obtain uh, viable employment, or if you choose to do so, um, your, your son or daughter can, can volunteer. Transition is a, a, a lifelong uh, expectation and goal for families. It's, it's about getting to some goals in your life and having dreams and uh, following those dreams. So to me, that's what transition is all about.